Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Hames. I'm very excited to come meet all of you at Cornerstone Christian. Uh, I'm here with my colleague, Liz Peterson. And uh, we're gonna be going through the intro on how to dissect a dogfish shark. Uh, our hope is that you can watch this video and feel comfortable before Friday when I come in on what to do. So here is your shark. This is what it's gonna look like. It's about 18 to 22 inches long. Um, you'll get it and uh, just to warn you, it does smell a little bit, it doesn't smell too bad, just kind of fishy and then it's preserved in a chemical that kind of has a, uh, a, a chemical like scent, but it shouldn't be too bad. You, your nose will adjust to it really quickly. So Mrs. Peterson, what kind of things do you notice about the shark as you look at it here? Well, the external features, um, there's the fins here and on the back, mm -hmm. but then as you turn it sideways, I think it's interesting to notice that you have slits in the side, but you also have an ex a hole here, a crevice there, as well as the eyes. Um, one thing that I was super interested to do right away is to flip him over and look inside his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's I think it's real interesting if you just kind of pull it back and take a look inside of his mouth. Just curiosity, mm -hmm. you know? When you're looking at the external features, whatever seems interesting to you, take a second to investigate it. That's what this is all about. Um, okay, before we get into this, guys, it'll be important to kind of know what tools you're gonna be working with, and I don't know what the teachers have over here, there, but uh, uh, most likely you'll be working with most of these. Um, so what you have here, are these are forceps. They can be used to be grab, grabbing any small pieces of uh, organ or flesh on the shark that you can't otherwise pick up with your fingers yourself. It just allows you to be a little more accurate. Um, Mrs. Pearson, do you want to go over one of the tools? You want to go back and forth um, here? Sure, sure. You'll probably have uh, scissors are my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, it, I used to cut all different kinds of things. Um, hopefully you'll have some that are a little bit sharper tipped to help you puncture the skin when you need to. Um, and then, Please. yep, those have a little bit sharper edge to them. So. Okay, uh, another thing you're going to be using is a scalpel, okay? Probably won't use this a lot, but you'll see us make a first cut. Something that I'll go over on Friday is the scalpel is very sharp, so you'll have to be careful on how to use that. Whoever uses the scalpel should be the one holding the shark. You shouldn't have somebody else holding the shark while they use the scalpel, so whoever cut should also be the one holding. All right, I think, is that everything? Well, the last thing, oh. I don't know if they'll have these, but probes are also nice too. Um, if you don't want to dive in and use your hands or your fingers, you can use a probe to kind of move around the internal organs um, as well as open different crevices on the external features of the shark. It's kind of cool. So the first thing that we'll do when you get your shark is we'll examine the outside. That's the exterior of the shark. Um, the first thing I notice is that it's a certain color. If I look at the back, which would be called the dorsal side, we'll note that in our lab on Friday, but uh, the dorsal side is the back side, and it's very dark gray, okay? And we have some dorsal fins back here. This one's kind of flipped over and has kind of a spiny edge here, but you'll be able to feel the texture of what that fin feels like. Uh, then the ventral side is the stomach area. Notice that's a very light color. It's white, okay? Um, and then Mrs. Peterson also pointed out some cool things on the features in addition to just fins, um, especially the mouth. Be careful when you're around that. Please don't stick your fingers in the mouth because it does have teeth um, and that could hurt if you get it in there. So if you want to open the mouth, you'll have to use uh, something like your uh, dissection needle, your probe, or your uh, forceps to open that up, okay? And then Mrs. Pearson, you pointed out some cool things on the exterior, such as the gills and then these holes mm -hmm. here. Did you want to talk about any one of those or? No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I <laughs> I mean, basically, guys, we'll yeah. go over the, what these things do. Yeah. Um, gills help the shark filter oh. oxygen out of the water. Yeah, we can go over that kind of stuff. Okay. So basically what it does is it takes in water through the mouth or these little holes right here. It goes into the shark, and then the water passes back out through the gills, and the gills help filter oxygen that the shark can use to, to breathe and get energy from. You know, one thing I want to point out, if you flip over to the... Um, bottom side is there's the mouth but then there's also two openings right here mm -hmm. um, if you notice the structure of the shark it it definitely swims and has like towards the bottom of the waterway whether it's the ocean or um, an inlet that it's at so it uses that to help guide it and navigate through the waters okay I just thought that was interesting 
Cool, so um, in your lab, you'll have to note all those things we just talked about, and we'll take a moment to do that. Uh, but since this is a video to prep you on dissection, let's explore the interior of the shark. There we go. Okay, let's do the internal dissection. So, to dissect the internal, your shark might, it's been sitting a while in preservative in a bag, so it might feel a little floppy. So it's nice to uh, pin it down, so I'll have Mrs. Peterson help me with that. When you pin a specimen down, you want to angle your pins just a little bit to create some resistance. Mm -hmm. And then... Go this Other than direction. that, there's no trick to it. You just nope. put it where you want it and push down. Yep. Okay, and we'll put one towards the back here. Why don't you put some one down there? Okay. Or do you want more? Uh, I think we're good. Okay, okay so um, we're looking at the bottom of the shark. That is the ventral side. I'm trying to pin it down. He's going to pop back up there. So we'll, this yep. pin is going to, this one's free floating right now, but at least we got the, uh, the, <laughs> the fins pinned down here. And if it pops up, that's okay. He's yeah. pretty sturdy. It'll be all right. Okay, so to cut open the shark, the key is to... Cut deep enough that you cut the uh, skin away, but you don't want to actually cut down into the shark and puncture any organs that might be underneath. Uh, all that stuff's really cool to see. So you wanna try to preserve that so that you can see it without cuts and slashes through them and that kind of thing. So it's gonna be kind of tricky to get, but I trust you'll all be able to handle this. So um, what I'm gonna start with, and I'm new to this, so you know, might see me change out tools here. Um, I'll help you guys with this, but since it's a new experience for us all, I'm going to start with my scalpel. Now, scalpels are very sharp, so I'm going to be careful, but I'm going to place my hand not too close from where I'm going to make my incision. Okay, And basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to op or cut this shark so I can open it like a door. Okay, So I'm going to start down here making a cut that goes across the body of the shark like this, and then I'll use my scissors to cut up the center here all the way up to where I get to the top of the shark up here. That way we can open his whole abdomen up so that we can see what's inside. So I'm going to try to do that right now. Scalpel I'm working with appears to be pretty dull, but we're getting there. Wow, that's much thicker than I would have expected. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep cutting down so I know that it's, do you wanna do that side a little sure. bit? I think it's helpful that if you do cut all the way to the dorsal side. Okay. okay. All right, now that I've made my initial incision, I got through some of that tough area of the shark, I'm now gonna take my scissors so that I can just cut, um, kinda like I'm cutting through a thicker piece of, I don't know, plastic or rubber or something like that. I'm just gonna get the bottom corner of my scissors underneath him here, so it's between where the skin stops and where any of the organs start. Um, you guys can't see it, but under here, there's a little bit of space where I can get underneath here. So just when you cut, you're just gonna start right here with the bottom of your scissors, and you're just gonna work your way in as straight a line possible all the way up the middle of the shark. I don't want to make big choppy cuts, I just want to make little snips. So again, I'm only taking the skin away and not cutting too deep into the shark. I am having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I'm interested to see what's <laughs> underneath. Now what you get to up here is something I found out is called a transverse septum. It's kind of like um, what a sternum would be on you. If you don't know what a sternum is, it's like the area that protects, it's a bone that protects your heart. On him, it's not a bone, it's a, uh, uh, it's cartilage. And I that's like what that's else. called. So when you get up top here, you're gonna notice it's gonna get harder to cut, okay? I'm still gonna try to cut through that as best as I can. But cartilage might... is what your nose is made out of. Yeah. So if you imagine, Kind of feeling it feels like a bone but not quite as hard and dense and i am actually going to go all the way up to his mouth there so we can open that up okay you see that's starting to come apart i got some membrane still sticking here so i'll take that away 
they slit here. And you see how that's well. starting to open up? Now, it opens nice and wide down here, but not so much at the top. So I need to do the same thing that I did at the bottom of the shark to the top of the shark. I'm going to cut a line over here, right about where the gills are, just above these fins. And then I should be able to open up this whole chest cavity and pin them back. So, do you want to do the honors on that part? Sure. I'm gonna come this way, kind of mm -hmm. underneath the cartilage part of it. And then you can take a pin and pin that open. Right, with the length of the shark, you might take a couple pins. This is really cool. I wonder what this line is. Mm -hmm. This is not me, this is me kind of just making a hypothesis here, kind of an I wonder statement, but I do know that sharks have some kind of nerve ending that travels the, their body that allows them to sense movement and things that are going on in the water, such as temperature or what have mm -hmm. you. So I'm Sun wondering if that's what I'm seeing here, if this allows the shark to mm -hmm. kind of sense what's going around it at all times. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do, you don't have to Ooh, do this, but... We should we should get in there at some point, too. Yeah, I'm just going to help cut this away a little bit more, too, so I can continue to pull it back. Oh, I cut right through. Look at that. Sharper than you thought. Just so it's relieving some of the tension. And something we pointed out up here, we don't have to do it right away, but we're going to want to see the heart and some of those upper organs here, so... We're gonna work on cutting away this tran transverse septum, that cartilage there. So that's what I'm gonna do next.